Hey guys, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw Clayface from Batman the Animated Series. So come on, let's get started. Alright guys, well, we're back for another Batman Animated Series inspired video. Today, we're going to tackle Matt Hagen's Clayface one of my favorites of the series. So, let's dive into Clayface. All right, so this guy's design is uh, rather unique. He is mostly upper body. So what we're gonna do, uh, let's figure out, for him, I like to come up with poses first. So, let's, uh, line of action, I'm gonna have him standing in uh, kind of a, He's going to be in an intimidating pose for Batman, um, and his body shape. Is roughly like this. Um, let's see. Like that, and then we've got. Squatty little little legs here. Okay. Uh, maybe angled a little more toward us. Yeah. And then he's got these big, massive arms. That come off. Like this give him when prepping for this video I was coming up with all different kinds of gimmicks that this clay face is known to do in the series and the more fun I was having the more I realized we need to dive into um, how to draw him pretty straight so we'll have a little bit of fun but we're gonna draw uh, his body and show you exactly how to do the beginnings of the character and then you can have some fun with uh, different shapes and things, right? So let's um, dive back into this and we will um, remember that in his character design, we do have um, a certain resemblance to his muscular anatomy, right? So we've got some pectoral muscle shapes here and it goes up into here like it's supposed to. And then from there, we'll have different layers of mud or clay, as the case may be. And don't be afraid to throw in different kind of blobby shapes with this. He is constantly moving. It's very fluid, right? So this poor actor turned criminal. It's a rather tragic story. It's one of my favorite of the story arcs of this series. The Feet of Clay episodes were his uh, introduction to the series. And it's, oh, it's a very, very sad story. And as the series goes on, he comes back for other episodes. And... And he shows up to be a very, very sympathetic character right up until he tries to do away with Batman. So now in here, I'm going to do like almost like folds, but it's really just um, moving clay. You know, his, his body was chemically changed and this clay will form at will. So, yeah, let's, let's do that like that. All right. Now his shoulders oftentimes will have um, excess clay up in here, right? And we will, uh, let's see. The design we're going with is the original design 
when the show aired on Fox TV. Um, before they brought it over to the WB to create the Batman Superman Power Hour, it was then when they uh, they streamlined the characters and they took a lot of this beautiful detail out of Clayface. All right, so let's give him a fist here on the side. Um, so you want to kind of give it, um, let's see, yeah. So we're going to, I'm just going to show you here um, how I come up with my fist poses. Um, okay, so that'll be like that. All right, so the fingers will kind of come in like that. Thumb. And remember, he streamlines his fists, so we want to make sure we do that as well. It's actually not the tightest fist I've ever drawn, but oh, let's not forget he's clawed. Yeah, his fingers come in like claws. So, all right, great. Let's draw some texture bubbles in here. Very fluid design. Give him some bubbles in here. Okay. Textured bubbles. And I think I've and I think I've changed my mind here. So I could either show you how to draw hands, or we could really make this a more evocative drawing. And let's give him one of those constructs that he does with his clay. So I'm gonna twist a little bit of the, the clay here on his arm, like so. He's forming a weapon to battle Batman with. And let's give him that giant mace. It's one of his go-to uh, constructs that he does. So we're just gonna lightly draw a circle and then we will draw in those um, those spikes to the the mace all right okay let's give him those cone shaped spikes all around here I want that one a little 3d ish all right I'm glad I did that, because this one looks kind of neat. Okay. Let's just throw that in like that. Let's tuck in a smaller triangle there. Beautiful. All right. Let's see, some bubbles here. So when we draw in the head, of clay face. We want to make sure that we get the vertical axis so we know where he's looking, right? And then right up in here, we're going to want to draw in that horizontal axis. He's going to be looking rather menacing. He's ready to attack. And depending on what he's doing, these eyes, they don't have a definitive shape to them. I mean, he's constantly morphing into other shapes. So you've got some wiggle room in there, which is great with this character. You can pretty much do anything you want. Okay, so we've got these completely pale yellow eyes. And you want to give him a really, really menacing brow. I'm going to do it on this side as well. Like that. Wow, that could be more menacing than I did. All right, moving on. So now he's got this like Jabba the Hutt type head shape. So that looks like that. Now let's give him a nice 
growly looking mouth. And down here, we're going to give him a really, really full chin. Just like that. Let's give him the top part of his upper lip here. And he's got all of these jagged teeth. His physiology has seen better days. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna shade this in. And now, for his chin, we've got all of these, like, valleys in here. All of this clay is constantly in flux, so his face is no exception. Some of the most beautiful animation, in my opinion, that ever came out of this series was in the climax of the part two of his story arc, Feet of Clay. You have that scene where he's in the, the studio control room and Batman is turning on all of his old movies and he's got all these different uh, costumes that he wore in these movies and his body is transforming at will it was some of the most beautiful stuff as far as design and morphing. The animation was great. There was a certain style to that that spoke to me. So guys, if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and tell your friends about this channel. I've got some other Batman videos for you right here, so stay tuned. I wanna thank you guys so much for drawing with me today. And until the next video, We'll see you later.